Hi guys, I'm Alex. Thanks for clicking and welcome to this lesson on four phrasal verbs with put. Um, if you'd like to check out more information on phrasal verbs with put, we have another lesson uh, made by myself that you can check out on the website and it's linked to this video. Today, we're gonna look at four different phrasal verbs with put. The first one is to put up with something or someone. So anytime you see ST, it means something in this video, and SO means someone. So to put up with something or someone. Let's look at this sentence and see if we can identify the meaning. So I have, I hate traffic. I hate traffic, but I have to put up with it. So imagine every day you go to work, you must take the metro or your car, and you have to drive and you have to drive through the traffic. You hate the traffic, but you have to use it, right? So in this situation, in this context, to put up with something, to put up with traffic means to tolerate it. You don't like it, but you have to do it, okay? So this means to tolerate, okay? Um, those of you who don't know what tolerate means, again, it means that you don't like it, but you still have to deal with it in some way. And again, you don't only have to put up with things, like I put up with traffic every day. You can put up with people in your life. So maybe at work um, or in your school, university, there are people you don't like, but you see them every day and you have to tolerate them. You have to put up with them, okay? All right, guys, um, so number two, we have to put something on. Uh, this is a separable phrasal verb. So this means the something can actually go in the middle of the phrasal verb or at the end of the phrasal verb. So the sentence is put on your jacket. It's also possible to say put your jacket on. Uh, based on the context of the sentence, I think it's easy to see that to put on means to, you know, cover yourself with clothing. And it's not only clothing, basically anything that you can put on your body, like jewelry, to cover your body with clothing or jewelry. So the most common context is to put on clothing. So put on your socks, put on your shirt, put on your pants, whatever it is. Okay, number three, to put something away. Um, just like put on, to put away is a separable phrasal verb, which means you can put the object, the something, in the middle of the phrasal verb or on the end of the phrasal verb. So put away your books. It's time for the test. So the context here is you're in class. The teacher says, put away your books. It's time for the test. You can't look at your books, right? So where do you put your books? Well, most students put them in a backpack, right? Your bag. So to put something away means you have to put it in an appropriate place. So the appropriate place for your books is your school bag. So to put in an appropriate place. So a place where that is expected that you would put that thing or whatever it is, okay? And finally, we have to put something together. And once more, this is a separable phrasal verb. So you can put the object in the middle or at the end. Um, let's look at the sentence. I hate putting together new furniture. So if you go to Ikea, which is a really popular furniture store, when you go home, you have to put the furniture together. It doesn't come as one piece. You have to work with it. And to put it together basically means to assemble it, complete it. Okay, so this means to assemble. Okay, so kids can put things together if they play with Legos, or if you are good with computers, you can put together a new computer. 
um, or in this case, this is uh, something that I'm very familiar with, you put together new furniture. Okay guys, so once more, those four phrasal verbs are to put up with something or someone. You don't like it, but you have to do it, okay? So you put up with traffic, put up with people, um, put something on to cover your body with clothing or jewelry, put something away to put it in an appropriate place, and to put something together means to assemble something. And if you'd like to test your knowledge of this material, as always, you can check out the quiz on engvid.com. Good luck and take care.